Mr. President, I'm so privileged to have you as the chair of the steering board of the European uh, Cloud Partnership. And you delivered the product of uh, your uh, members and you yourself. Can you tell me a bit more about what is your experience of the steering board and what is really the issue that we should give attention to? I mean, the key things we must or the next commission will have to address uh, is that if we're going to have cloud computing and remain competitive, then we have to look at, first of all, the kinds of data that we have, because different forms of data require uh, different levels of security. Clearly, if you're going to have simple statistics, it's very different from having health data. Um, there is the issue of data use. I mean, there is there are data that are used for uh, that involved intellectual property rights, for example. Mm -hmm. Clearly, uh, that has to be addressed in the in a uh, pan-European way. I mean, it's <laughs> intellectual property rights are a big issue anyway. But once we get to the cloud, who has access to what becomes very important. But the key issue is really getting it to work at a European level because most of our countries if not all, have data legis have legislation that says at least uh, government data may not be stored outside the borders of, of the nation state. You um, have own experience. Yes. Well, we, I mean, this, it's, in general, it, this law is understandable, makes sense, these kinds of laws, but, but if we want to develop a cloud then, uh, uh, that will work uniformly across Europe, then we have to address that issue. And uh, we, that, again, requires us to be able to guarantee to uh, member states that, uh, that uh, the using a European cloud for data storage uh, is, is a perfectly reasonable and good thing to do. In the sort of the, the non-digital single market, we've all made the appropriate changes in our legislation and uh, harmonized our legislation. It works within Europe. We have not done that when it comes to the uh, the application of digital uh, technology, and and here this is a, a big challenge we face in Europe. That unless we take into account the huge size of the economy that is digital, and we don't have a pan-European single market uh, that works digitally, we will simply fall behind. And so the, the alternative path uh, to having a pan-European legislation is that one by one, governments or countries will adopt systems that are interoperable. And could you explain a little bit more your experience with privacy? For people are scared, and certainly when you are talking about there are health um, uh, issues that it is safe and that it is to be trusted. Well, we uh, the system that we have is, uh, by current estimates, is the encryption layer is at a, is at a level that will be safe for another 30 years. I mean, uh, so there are technological solutions that work and that in, uh, that people trust. Um, and uh, I guess where the problem is, is the level of knowledge of the technological solutions that exist today uh, that uh, would allay the fears of legislators and politicians uh, who say, oh, no, we can't do this. There are a lot of things we can do right now. Uh, and the first, first of all is to look at best practices. Wh who's done what? Mr. President, I'm absolutely certain that uh, a lot of people will uh, use the public consultation about this report till the 2nd of May uh, it can be yeah, done. Looking forward to all your interventions. And thank you very much, Mr. President, for your willingness to accept the chair of the board and publish this excellent report. Uh, I'm looking forward to all those reactions of the viewers and of those who, for one reason or another, are interested in the cloud um, issues. And uh, you can still uh, react uh, till the 2nd of May. Mm -hmm.